Well, that brings us to the Penguin episode for Santani. Mm-hmm. I know they say it in the episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, yeah, like the, the Joycey uh, Santani. <laughs> Santani. Santani. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Santani. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um yeah will why don't you share your thoughts about this episode uh riveting i, I was locked in start to finish uh we really get we you know this was as we've talked about before you know each our three leads get their episodes you know we had the penguin reestablish himself with the first couple we get Vic last week, and this week is Sophia's backstory. And I just literally, from start to finish, um, I I was I was locked in with this with this episode. It uh, you know definitely uh, shades re- you know, re- shades the our perspective on things. Just even from the, from the get, uh, you know, when the episode starts out, you know, last week we we get. The when Vic rescued Oz from uh, the Maronis, we got things from his perspective. But this episode kicks off with 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 Sophia's perspective as far as mm-hmm. what was going down in that in that uh, that moment, and 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 of course again her learning why she cannot trust Oz, and we and we and we see the first portrayal in this episode for you know for for about that, and so. I just this was a, a again just a a solid solid outing by the show. It gets better each each week, and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, so um, I I agree with you. It's it's funny because within the first three four minutes, um, we get an an explanation for why why Oz was okay with leaving Sophia behind. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple. Nadia had already let it out of the bag. (laughs) Nadia, like shout out to Nadia because she's like, no, 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 I'm I'm not a man in this situation. I'm not going to let you spin your lies and play dumb here. I'm going to call you out in front of a co-conspirator and make Mm -hmm. sure she knows exactly who she's dealing with. (laughs) Which... And and they did it so well, and also just um, there there's a line that we hear in the first and last week's episode that's carried over into this um, episode, and and I think it has something to do with like you can trust me and whatnot, and and be, beyond Nadia spilling the um, letting the cat out of the bag. I think what was also really interesting was to see Sophia not only digest that fact, which Mm -hmm. she kind of already had suspicions of, but also the then witnessing him try to use um, similar language Mm -hmm. and um, similar placate to the the promises and the friendship and the loyalty that not five minutes ago he was just telling her like yep. he's now saying that to Nadia because Nadia has the gun in her hand and it's directed at him. Yep. So I mean I mean Penguin's a survival. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he's he's he doesn't care yep. at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, he might care a little bit about Vic, but that's about it. I don't even know anymore. I don't, yeah, at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vic, so, yeah. Vic better watch and, his back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and I still think the first, even the second episode established was was arguably Sophia's episode just because mm-hmm. it it we had a lot more scenes with her. But this episode <laughs> I had, I had, I think early on you told me, you're like, yeah, there's probably going to be a flashback episode. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I, I was like, I was like, I don't, I don't know if I want to see a flash. I like, I like living in the present. Well, if you're going to do a flashback episode, this is an example of how to do it Mm -hmm. because this is not a flat, this is not Penguin's flashback episode. This is Sophia's. 
which makes all the difference in the world Mm -hmm. because it's the first episode that solely the penguin was maybe in it for two three four scenes like a handful of scenes hardly at all i think we might have even seen al more we than we saw him yeah we did we did (laughs) yeah yeah and so but it's fascinating because even though like this was sophia's episode it's still the penguin show and he's lurking in the background and it's still what she goes through informs us so much about him Mm -hmm. as well and also the power and the structure of this world. Um, so, so, so yeah. And, and also within the first five minutes, um, I did not forget when you brought up last week, the line that she has in Oz, says to Oz is, is, and I'm not the hangman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. when you brought it up, I knew I'm like, yeah, it's probably going to mean something, but I didn't realize we were going to get this episode the way we did and Mm -hmm. that it would, I had no idea. I mean, I guess for you, Will, because you picked up on that line, did you at all think like, oh, I wonder if it was a setup or I wonder if like, did you think maybe Penguin was the hangman? No, no. I just, I, you know, I, this that's you're completely right. I mean, the way that this is how to do a flashback, and I did not pick up. And I, you know, whenever she said, "I'm not the hangman," I just thought it was like your traditional um, denial. denial, exactly, yeah. exactly. But whenever they really start to flesh out what was really going on, and yeah. even like when the flashbacks with you know with the with you know uh, this, the way they structured it was just so brilliant because. They used the Suicide Foundation as far as Isabella Falcone. And, you know, they, they frame it in the sense of mental illness. And, you know, and and we see Sophia, you know, even though she knows, even though she knows the family, the, the true family business, you know, she is sort of the, the the you know, and, and also Carmine as well. You know, they put the, pub, the nice public face out there as far as like... Well- you know, well, as... I think what what you're getting at is also yeah. like they they introduce it in a way where you as a viewer, knowing mm. what you know, automatically assume, oh, this is how she, this is her hunting ground. Mm-hmm. That's she exactly right. That's exactly right. She that's how she identifies the girls. She's going to yep. kill everything. And yep. it takes it takes a while before you also start to piece together and realize oh no 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 she's really not involved in this mm-hmm. and but she's also yeah yeah so so i it, they 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 also they it's hard a hard thing to do and mm-hmm. we've covered so many shows yeah but it's very hard to kind of give information and context without the viewer being like, oh, we already knew that. Or Mm -hmm. (laughs) like, like we knew a version of events, but there were some gaps. We didn't know how big those gaps were. Yeah. 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 (laughs) For that part. Because, because, a, we didn't, or at least I don't remember there being any talk about how Sophia and Al's mom died. Nope. Um, and it was quote unquote told that it was suicide. And mm-hmm. we see Sophia find her. And yeah. instantly we're like, oh, this is where she gets the idea. It, we're basically Carmine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As the viewer, you you spend probably the first 15 to 20 minutes of this episode in flashbacks from that lens of like, okay, we we know where she ends up Mm -hmm. Um, and she does end up in Arkham, but it's because she was trying to get down. She was she was putting together the pieces that Carmine not only is killing these girls. 
but he is also behind the murder of of her own mom. Yeah. And yeah. she and Penguin reports to Carmine that Sophia met with a reporter. So another mm-hmm. thing. Yep. Like that's a very different thing. Like I I guess my question to you will is yeah. do you think that he that he knew I don't know like how innocent of that do you think the penguin is in the fact like well I know she shouldn't be investigating that but and then to tell the dad and like do you how much do you think like he knew how far that would get her into ultimately ending up in Arkham because of that I don't think he did yeah I th- I think it, you know, and I was as as I was thinking about t- talking about this episode with you tonight. Oz has basically fucked over two Falcons, Albert. We call it, and 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 the and the and the catalyst for it was the same. In both situations, they made him feel small. Yeah, he killed Alberto because Alberto made him feel small whenever. You know, in the first episode, he was talking about the story, yep. and and then in this episode, it's because when you know he gave advice to Sophia uh, as far as talking to the reporter, you know, she's like, "Know your place, driver." Right. So I don't think he had a grand plan to like, you know, I don't think he knew the depths of what Carmine was doing. He might have, but i don't I, I think it was at at his core was he just felt small and he just in in typical Oz way he just reacted and he saw her talking to a reporter and you know he was you know and because give him yeah when when they pull her him over and she he's driving her home he he's reacting in a way like it's not as though he figured out the long plan of this nope like like I agree he he screwed over two Falcons, but at the same time, uh, it's it still feels different with Sophia because yeah. there was there was a there's such a it's not a father like care. It's not boyfriend like it's just like companionship almost mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. partnership that because it I feel like in a way she gave him a shot and yeah. and then he unfortunately try i i it, it almost could be viewed as a form of protection like you yeah, need uh, yeah. your daughter she can't be talking to these because he might mm-hmm. have already known that carmine was behind the murders right yeah, yeah, right but right. i think what really did it for carmine to ultimately sh- like send his daughter away was the fact that like when she asked like or when she says there were bruises on your hands that day yep. that day like, yep it's like, yeah, oh. she, she pieced <laughs> it together yeah <laughs> when she saw those photos from the reporter and she pieced yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 because because the other girls aside she was the f- one who found her mom and i think mm-hmm. that was well known yeah to the public so right. she could have easily like in an order of being like i'm gonna report this because i want justice for my mom fuck my dad and all of that so yeah, yeah it's just they they did it very well and they um that story unfolded um in a very very deep way um mm-hmm. as we we then watch um her go into arkham being yep. told you get you gotta being told and shout out to al i mean we're introduced to him in one scene at the very beginning total douchebag bit of yep. a douchebag in this episode but also you recognize and and they they show you why she was so dead set and is so dead set on vengeance for him like yeah. their connection and their yeah. their um, sibling bond was so strong. Yep. So so I I think they did Al justice in this episode. They they did they really did and you know and the, the you know I think about 
as as the setup happened and it was so hard i mean carmine had everything orchestrated even down to like setting up a, a, a bum lawyer who was just like you know uh, you know as, as i was sitting there watching that scene i'm like you know, the lawyers fit i mean everything you know it really all the all the trust issues and all the betrayals they you know they show it just really like hammer home why sophia is the way that she is in this episode and and you and you brought up a good point too with the myth you know with the fa- you know they do like for example Everyone knows that she discovered her mom, mm-hmm. and and so it gave you know so they it, it it gave further ammunition and and um salience when they could be like she's mental you know she's she's unstable she's you know we, we she has a history of, she she's mentally ill because of you know traumatic this traumatic event that happened to her so yeah so whenever so you know when they said they're going to do the six month evaluation you know mm-hmm. it. it it, it it all like really you know it all fall all the pieces fall into play and it shows just just how how dangerous Carmen Carmine Falcone is. Right, right, right. And just how how messed up Arkham is as yeah. a whole because yeah. it, it's she goes in having not killed anybody. Mm-hmm. She she stays long enough to eventually kill someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor pie. Poor uh, yeah. pie. I quite, yeah. So now that's the one I thing I did see. <laughs> I did see something happen to Magpie at some point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Which did we meet a version of Magpie we, in uh, Batwoman? We did. We did. We did. Yeah. I, I was like, he seems so familiar to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, which is good because I mean we've had so many iterations of Gotham, of yeah. Arkham, and everything that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's almost its own. Like Batman is a genre. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. But you're, you're but you're right about Arkham, though. I mean, that this really got to why Arkham is has gotten the you know reputation that it has. Because I mean, there's the campy Arkham. There's the you know I think because we got you know we got a little bit of the campy of Arkham. I think with uh, with Batgirl, Batwoman. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, and we've seen, you know, we've heard it referenced in other versions of live action. But I think that, you know, whenever we see Sophia being processed there and, and you know, and she touches on that, too, whenever, you know, she torches Oz in the first episode. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, but we really, you know, but we see it and just you feel it. I mean, it was a hard watch. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think what kind of took me out though was um the choice of music was a bit campy mm, yeah, um yeah. because it definitely lend it to that sound those uh those lyrical notes you're used to when like we enter comic whether it's a tv mm. show or a movie and it's just there is i can't put my articulate when i'm trying to how i'm trying to describe it but but yeah, there was some campy that kind of made it not as painful to watch as mm-hmm. if maybe it was set to something else. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I um, can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, and and the guy who plays Julian, great mm-hmm. actor, does a good job. Yeah. He he's from Sons of Anarchy, and so oh. I can't not see. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I it's so funny to me, and th- this just happens every mm-hmm. so often. Where I mean, not everyone can be um, Ca- Colin Farrell and dressed in like five pounds of makeup, where <laughs> 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 you just completely forget. But almost to a point where you were constantly reminding yourself, "That's Colin Farrell. That's Colin Farrell." <laughs> just <Yep>. make sure. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, so, yeah. and, and, and his journey is, is, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think they, they could, in a way, and maybe they'll do this. I mean, we still got episodes to go. Um, I almost want to say 
Sophia needs to be a lesbian for this to work because she um, is basically had every single man in her life screw her over. So to have this weird dynamic with her and the therapist, I mean, yeah. I've, I've since the first time we met Julian in present day, mm-hmm. I was like, man, he he seems there's something off about him. Like, are we sure yeah. he never raped her? Like, are we sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which it doesn't sound like they're that that's the case because no. he apparently resigned yep. early on and then also helped Alberto get um, Sophia out eventually. Yep. I mean, it yep. took them a decade plus, but they event- she eventually got out. Yeah. Um, which maybe we'll get some future flashbacks about how exactly they end up getting out and and it and. They, they touch on it some. Reason, what I said, they do touch on it some though, because I think you know part of it is you know I think you know the the guilt because you see him self medicating from you know whenever she whenever she does wake up in his place and starts going through his desk and you know he sees the pills. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, he's been guilty since day one, but yeah. I think um, what I was gonna say was. I think probably the only reason why Al and Julian could get her out, though, is the moment that Carmine dies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she was never going to get out anytime, like, with him still alive. You're That's you're, sure. you're right. And, That's okay. 100% correct. Yeah. Also, okay, well, let's go back to the Batman for yeah. a moment. A movie yeah. I've only seen one time to this day. Yep. Um, but I do, re- I did remember throughout this episode, that's right, Celine Kyle in this universe is Sophia's half-sister. I think because so. Carmine is, her, is his, like, it was revealed in the Batman that Carmine is her dad. That's right, that's right, it was. And her yeah. mom used to work at the 44 Below Club, or whatever mm-hmm. they call that club. Yep. Now, and so this whole time, watching this episode, as soon as I remembered that, I was like, oh, my God. So, so did, 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 did she die by supposed suicide? Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, like, it I'm, begs the question. I'm trying to, like, and for people who are obsessed with that movie, because you guys know I won't go and rewatch it, but. Somebody might need to do some rewatching and let me know if there's at all the circumstances because I also feel as though Carmine is the reason why Celine's dad or mom is dead. Yeah. I so think you're right. I I just I wonder if there was a seed planted all the way back there. <laughs> I, I'm you know there probably was there probably was because I know yeah because I know I know Falcone I mean even in the I was just looking at his uh, it is. I think they 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 firm it up in the movie. I think in the comic book, I think it's just a lewd, it's, it's 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 a rumor, or it's a, a ledge. But you know, they do flesh it out, like you said, in in, in the movie. So yeah, because she um, at one point wants to kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And speaking of speaking of like uh, the, the Batman too, and and also uh, you know John Turturro had a scheduling conflict, so he couldn't he could not reprise the role in in this. Um, yeah. episode, but Mark Strong, man, he was like he brought the intensity, uh, especially to uh, with the younger younger Carmine uh, and those glasses and but the <laughs> the red glasses and but the 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 energy he was exuding there, uh, it, it really I think also helped set the tone and also set the the, um, the menacing plot that he you know that this guy would be a guy that like to to, to cover up his sins he will he would like put his daughter away in a place like arkham i will be honest yeah um i did not interpret it at that to be that menacing of a betrayal <laughs> i yeah well it was it was I it was that it's a physicality because... of it not so much yeah well, well, I just say that because the whole time I'm thinking to myself, I could have sworn Will told me that this was going to be played by the same actor who's from the movie. This is not the same actor. No, <laughs> no, it, I told you, yeah, I told you he was not going to be in there. Yeah. Oh, see, and I remembered the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I was like, it's not John Turturro. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> and then even so, like whether I knew or not, I'm still watching and being like, that's not John DeToro. No. no yeah. that's, that's so weird to me. Um, and but I almost feel as though that's why we didn't see as much from mm-hmm. him. Yeah. And honestly, their scenes weren't even that long. It's because I, I, a lot of the audience has seen the Batman, if not once, multiple times. And, yeah. and he, he, that's such a figure in that movie yeah. that it's just, it's really hard to then be like, yeah, but yeah. And they did, but your, they did as best as they could. Yeah. But to um, your point though, I mean, it, it, they didn't need to be that long. I mean, I think the, the no. points were, were made. Yeah. 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 No, they, they, they cut it down as much as they could to yeah. still keep the, the points um, the same, regardless. I, yeah. I just, I've, I didn't, I was distracted by mm. the, um, the stand in. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. But but I'm glad that you weren't. I'm glad that you were. not But but yeah yeah no, yeah. I knew. I mean, I recognized it, but I was just like, I, I was like, for stand, you know, for for stand in actor, it, it worked for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially I'm given also, that it was ten years prior. So. Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm also telling you how the actor who plays Theo Rossi is his name. Theo Rossi who plays Julian. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, you're never not gonna be that guy <laughs> from Sons of Anarchy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. yeah, it happens. I mean, that that character I essentially spent six, seven years with. <laughs> so, so with TV actors, it's really hard to get get a yeah. get that out. But yeah, fair, fair um, enough. Fair enough. <laughs> while at the same time, you like seeing familiar actors because you're like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you know. Yeah, you yeah. know if a certain person's char- actor or actress is playing a character, you know, because of because of who it is, you know you're going to get yeah. a good performance. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Well, that that leads us to to the um the revenge plot yeah. of it yeah. all. Yeah. And so Sophia we Sophia we return to present day and Sophia ends up going home to dinner. Um, to start to start a new chapter in her life um and and i'm i'm sorry but this just played out and reminded me so much of the jack nicholson scene from the batman Mm. where they they gas the art oh yeah yeah (laughs) they're at a museum and they gas the plate right yeah yep Yep. For some reason, like bits and pieces of that scene, because I was a baby when that movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> I but I I vaguely remembered that. And so how this whole thing played out, um, it just it, I felt I'm like, this has to be some sort of homage because yeah. it's like she turned her house into a gas chamber, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so my my question though is. What what was the timeline here? Because when when she gets up and goes into the house, is, does she, so is that when she turns on the gas, or has the gas already been on? It's been on all night. It's been on all night. Okay. Yeah. And has then has Johnny's windows been open all night? Yeah, I guess he's he was for whatever reason he slept with the window open. Okay. Um, or she, or she or, made sure to she, open yeah. the window. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now. But, uh, yeah. Are you thinking Luca is dead? Oh yeah, Luca's dead. He was like, he was, he was. They, they panned on him. They panned on him. Okay. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Because his, uh, his wife was on the floor, and he God. was like laid over. Yeah, he was. Then why was Johnny in bed when everybody else seemed like they were still at the dinner pl- table? So I think so. They had a, they had a dinner party. They the dinner and everything sort of played out with 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 her scene. And I love how she like named all the victims and and even you know dropped in you know in there that she's actually a victim of all all these people too of of, right. of Carmine. 
and and then um they they i guess they cut to i guess they cut to her going to the room her room back up to her room she pulls out the gun and i was just like i was wondering where they're gonna go with that um and she lights a cigarette and stuff and opens the window or maybe oh actually you know what was that maybe that was actually bd's room that she went up to because she did open the window to smoke and she left the window open so okay. i bet she, yeah so i think that's what it was that's when she went up there so it was planned she planned to keep bd alive yeah i think yeah, yeah. that yeah. makes so that, that makes sense yeah but so that's that was the moment and, yeah. and everybody else was still partying yeah yeah so uh, <laughs> yeah so they, yeah so she yeah everybody else goes to yeah they party she gets her niece um i don't know if it, I, I guess I guess is a little girl her niece or or her we're cousin? Gonna, we're gonna just call her the niece. Yeah, the niece or the cousin, and make sure she's out of the house while everybody else crashes. And she, had, yeah, she had turned on the gas, and yeah, and yeah, just made everyone asphyxiates from carbon monoxide poisoning, and except for Johnny. Yeah, who went to bed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah. I all the <laughs> I rest. Guess, I guess he couldn't have his little trice with Luca's wife because they I, were there together. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to explain that to me. Because... Well, I think that goes back to like some of the, uh, yeah. What about v- what is it about VD that she keeps keeps him around? Maybe because he has well, that. Well, even, see, I'm not even questioning that. I'm yeah. just questioning how is it that everybody else was like partying it up and VD's oh, yeah. like, like in bed to the point. Where he doesn't even get woken up by like a lot of thuds of people just like falling randomly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a big house. It but is a big house. It's still yeah. weird to me that he's like clearly he put on his pajamas, <laughs> <laughs> he brushed his teeth. <laughs> well, like then my whole I just I know I'm never gonna get an answer to this. I understand, yeah. but at the same time, it's a little bit weird. I mean, yeah. for such a well-executed <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah. So well, she think, I guess she. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Fair. That's a fair. That's a good point. That's 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 logic. Logic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. I yeah. Mean, logic is not a play in a comic book show in this, in this instance. <laughs> well, as a, as for Johnny, he's 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 so far, arguably even more than Luca. Between Sophia and Penguin, he's been like the one to to get taken down, and it's probably yeah. because he's the the right hand man, and arguably yeah. the one the right hand man knows a lot more than the head. So, yeah, yeah. He, he may knows. not have as much power, but, but he, he knows where knows the bodies are buried. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he also may be be used in a way of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So if she wants yeah. to go after Oz, then Vidi's the guy to partner with because Vidi oh, yeah. has also been wanting to get take Penguin out for a while now. So yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, I, I can I can see that um as long as she has the upper hand, which I, I think she still has the blackmail and all that stuff, but the, I don't know what the blackmail would do do her any good for her. Yeah. considering like if luca's dead and everything but yeah i'm pretty yeah. sure luca yeah i'm pretty sure he's dead yeah because otherwise yeah. we'll be the yeah i mean they pretty much removed the whole falcon except for vd family off the table which is you know because that makes because that you know again we are you know at the very outset of this of this show after the flood with the riddler um you know there is the, it the, the, there creates there's the power vacuum that that eventually the penguin will that we know will end up filling. So this is part one of that vacuum. Um, part one of that whole segment being taken care of, except for VD. And of course, he'll, VD will be eventually taken care of as well. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think that is it for us tonight. Will, why don't you tell our listeners where they can find you? Yes, you can find me at. Uh, Will M. Polk on X, formerly known as Twitter, at W-I-L-L-M-P-O-L-K. 
And you can find me there too at SJ Belmont, S J B L M O N T. Please follow our crew there at at Scene and Nerd. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and threads at scene underscore n underscore nerd. And visit our website, www.sceneandnerdpodcast.com. But most importantly, rate, follow, and comment on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, geek out. You're welcome.